Good morning, Tony Dottino here, founder of the USA Memory Championship, doing my live with Tony on Monday. Oh my goodness, it's already March the 11th, the days go by so quickly, it's hard to believe we're into the first, uh, into the first quarter of the year. But in any case, uh, one of the things I've been reading more and more about is the importance of the focus of our thinking and the attitudes and the thought processes that we have throughout our days. And do we focus on the things that are happening throughout the day that are what people call positive, meaning that they're positive thoughts that we have, they're goodness, that life is wonderful, things are good. Yep, we have bumps in the, in the road, but you know what, we can handle those. And do we appreciate uh, our purpose in life and what we're trying to accomplish? And these things are affecting our cognitive function. And whether or not we have the energy and the enthusiasm and the spirit to continue to move forward and grow and learn and live versus do we just look at doom and gloom and we feel that life is just a burden and God, how are we going to make it through another day? And at the Memory Institute that we do at the Y here in Dr. Phillips, uh, Florida, uh, it's amazing that the attendees in the institute uh, go through an exercise uh, every session on the things that they feel grateful for in their lives and the things that are about their lives that give them purpose and reason to continue. And it's amazing uh, when you get people to focus on the good things that they've got going on in their lives, what a difference it makes in the joy and the spirit and their uh, interactions that they have with their loved ones, with their children, their spouses, with their friends, and the social interactions that they then engage on within the workshop itself. And so it's bringing several things together, one being, so what are the things in my life that I should be grateful for and thank uh, that, that we have them? And we don't need to wait for Thanksgiving to, to make that an official, let's be thankful for things in our life like the spouse we have, like the doctors we have, like the uh, friends and family that I've got that help support me and help me get through some of the challenges that I have in my life, uh, the team of people that I bring about me, the care that, that I have. And as people worry about their memory and whether they're losing their abilities to do that, it's important for them to know that there is a support network in there and that there are things that can keep them on the upside of things as opposed to just the doom and gloom of, my goodness, uh, it, life is failing me. The second part of the exercise is something we call uh, the actual behaviors and actions that take place within your day that give you that feeling of goodness, that give you the feeling that there's positive things in the world, that there are things that happen. And that is more specific in what we call your gig. And we've talked about this before, but I'm seeing more and more about the gig, the synergy of thinking that we have within our day and the specific uh, experiences, actions, uh, behaviors that take place within our life throughout the day that give us the feeling that there are good things about us, that there are positive experiences that take place throughout the day that give, tie back into this gratitude that we have. So that, look, I don't just have gratitude for the sake of, well, gee, I'm supposed to be grateful for everything, but there are actual experiences throughout my day that give me that level of joy, that level of happy and laughing and smiling, uh, that feeling of, oh my goodness, this is, this is a good day. And so we focus on, so what are the things that are in your day-to-day -day experiences that give you that uh, purpose and that feeling of gratitude. And so we focus on, so what are some of the things that you experience throughout your day or throughout your week that give you that happy, joyful feeling, that give you evidence that say, you know what, there are good things that are happening to you. So we have an exercise that we, we go through that says, okay, everybody step back and think about three good things or experiences that uh, happen to you or happen with you uh, during your day or during your week uh, that make a big difference. And I always remember doing this with my, my grandkids, which is at the end of a 
school week? What were three things that you learned this week that really brought like an aha or a wow, uh, that brought uh, an interesting point to you that, you know what, I'm glad that I got to learn that this week. Uh, I talked to people, so what were some things that happened to you within the last week that really brought a smile to your face, that made you uh, kind of light up and, and bubble a little bit in a positive way? Uh, on the other side, we don't ignore the negative things either. And so, well, there are a few things that happened to you that were uh, like a bummer, that, that, you know what, it didn't make you feel good. It kind of made you feel a little bit sad or it made you feel angry. Or so, well, there are some things that, that occurred to your week that made you feel a, a little bit down and, and sad. Uh, and so we balance that. And, and it's not to say that, you know, we live in Pollyanna and everything is wonderful and positive and we then take the things that are not working well and ignore them. Uh, but we balance the gratitude we have and the purposes we have and continuing to go, the family that uh, counts on us, that loves us, that wants us to be be with them and, and be active, the friends that we have, the business associates we may be engaged with. And then we tie that back into the actual experiences of people maybe you had lunch with, somebody that you had a nice phone call with, uh, someone you met uh, at the grocery store that just brought a laugh, uh, watching kids play in a, in a playground or just uh, sitting on a beach and just listening to the waves but and just getting into a level of peace and and tranquility. Uh, so we, we focus on the balance of these so that when you take the holistic view of it, life is not doom and gloom. Uh, if we listen, as I say to people, if all we do is sometimes listen to the news reports, we could get a little bit lopsided. And obviously, and some of the re research I'm reading is that we are focused on sometimes the negative because that's how we do the fight or flight, where we exist and where we live and where we survive. But sometimes we have to be a little bit more focused that we're not just in this fight or flight mode every day, all day, that then just wears us down but that we can step away from that and say, yeah, I've got this fight or flight because that's how I stay alive and I survive. But I also have things that I go about that give me a purpose in life. They give me a difference. I make a difference for something or somebody or somewhere. I'm a part of a community. I'm part of a neighborhood. Uh, I see people. I, I get to talk with other humans. And we, we know how important now social interaction is as a result of the COVID uh, pandemic uh, and, and what a difference that, that has made to those that felt locked down and the kids that didn't feel and so how do I go out and have fun and play with my friends how do I go out and meet with other people how do I share other people's experiences and one of the things I've learned to do over the years in this whole arena of good and garbage or garbage in garbage grows as we say and good in good grows in our brain, we get the choice, and then greatness in and greatness will grow, which is how we get to see some of the great things that exist in our world today. If Otherwise, we'd still be uh, walking or riding horses to get to wherever we're going, and we wouldn't be taking airplanes to go. But the point that I want to make in this is, how do we keep that in balance so that we don't tilt to one side or the other, but we stay focused on I'm here today. I'm going to make a difference in someone's life. I'm going to talk with somebody. I'm going to have. I'm not uh, on an island uh, all by myself. There are other people that look forward to seeing me or talking to me, and I can have a conversation. We can laugh, and we can also commiserate a little bit and talk about some of our aches and pains, and and not just get feel like the world is is waiting on our shoulders, weighing on our shoulders, and so uh, it, it, it's this whole balance of gratitude, my purpose, my reason, the people around me that keep me going, that make me feel that, you know, I count for something and I make a difference. And then the specific experiences that take place throughout the day that give me that feeling of, of joy and love and uh, I exist and have a purpose in life and there's a reason for me to keep on battling through some of the ups and downs and stay with the ups and minimize the downs and keep keep life uh, at least uh, at a level 
where I understand that, you know what, we're going to have some bumps in the road, but we're going to deal with those. We're going to be able to uh, get through those, those blocks that sometimes interfere with our life. And, uh, we're going to be able to count for something. And so it's reading about this more and more now that the, the neuroscience world is beginning to uncover uh, how this ties to life expectancy and what a difference it makes into the way we do experience life and the way we focus and view it and how we uh, go through each and every day feeling that, you know, it is worth getting up this morning. It is worth getting about my day. I am going to make a difference somewhere throughout my day and I'm going to focus on it in a way that gives me an end result that makes me feel that when I go to bed at night, I've, I've had a good day. And with that, it's already time to get on with Monday. I got my early, got this early, I've got some things to do uh, today and doing some things that will make a difference in people's lives as they look at the plan on my schedule. And you have a great day and we'll see you on Wednesday.